coach. We'll talk maybe later when we get home, and we'll break the game down, and we'll see offensive highlights. No question tonight, the defensive effort by this team was the difference maker. Unbelievable. Uh, just the focus of our guys and the tenacity on defense. This team scored 53 okay. points in the first half versus us in yes. December. And so for our guys to turn that around and just do the job they did, it was a collective effort. Started with Zach Vandewater, mm -hmm. but it was a collective effort down the line. And uh, just so proud of these guys. And, you know, you got to this game tonight by doing it each consecutive. You got a little bit better, a little bit better defensively. And you mentioned Zach shutting down, shutting down a lot of good players, but uh, um, you had to take it to another level tonight, and I thought you did that. I mean, every game we saw a better player and a better team. Yes. Um, so it was progressive, and I thought our effort got better every single game. And uh, if you would have told me back in uh, November, December, that defense was going to win us the national championship, <laughs> <laughs> I would have laughed at you. But, uh, you know, our shooting was unbelievable in this tournament, too. Maybe yeah. not tonight, but... Uh, uh, throughout the tournament, the number of threes that we were hitting was incredible. Well, you mentioned shooting, and I, I thought you guys had a pretty good offensive performance tonight. But in the first half, there was a key moment where you guys had a 10-2 to run that kind of got you out into a double-digit lead for a little bit. And then in the second half, you had, a, I think, a 12-2 to run and a 7-0 run. Two, you know, couple moments in this game at different times where you had those offensive outbursts that created the separation. Yeah, I mean, th this, this team is explosive offensively. I mean, the ceiling of this team offensively is the highest ceiling we've ever had. And uh, so we would play in spurts. And uh, when our defense was consistent, those spurts gave us leads and bigger leads. And that's what you saw throughout this tournament. I uh, had the privilege of watching you guys through in your walkthrough this morning. And I've talked to a couple guys about this. I saw yourself. I saw Coach Clark breaking down what Midland was going to try to do to you guys. You're, your staff and yourself, you guys did a pretty good job getting this team ready tonight. My staff's incredible. It starts with Jeff. Uh, he's a genius, and uh, he puts us in position to be successful. Ethan's incredible, Mr. Energy. I mean, the, the positive energy that he brings to the table every single day allows us to get better. Uh, you know, Fred and Dave, those guys are there to, to just support the guys and, and build a family atmosphere. It's not just a basketball team. It's a family. What can you say about Jordan Widener that hasn't already been said, but tonight... I mean, he just, you got, there's some, so many cliches out there, but he, he just was, he was not going to be denied tonight. I thought RJ played well, your bench, but Jordan was, I mean, he was so focused tonight. Jordan uh, has a bigger heart than anybody I've ever coached. He's got a will that cannot be stopped, and uh, this was a man on a mission. He didn't want his season to end, and uh, he's a kid that makes you look like you know what you're doing in coaching, you know, because he just makes plays, and he gets the guys fired up, and he's been a coach on the floor for four years, and to see him go out like this, I couldn't be more proud of a player. Well, he set a great example for your, your, your bench and your freshmen. I mean, I kind of clumping that, that group together because your bench was huge all week long. Your fresh first half I guess you, I know you know this but there's a moment in the first half for several important minutes you had three freshmen and a sophomore on the floor those three freshmen played <laughs> great all tournament long yeah. they're not freshmen anymore no. those, those kids are grown up now they are upperclassmen and uh, I thought Bob Peters came and showed us that he's going to be an elite player yeah. for us Lane Mahern mm -hmm. showed that he's going to be an elite player Nate Bubash uh, you know, I don't know if anybody hustled more than him in this tournament and made some things happen. And each of those guys came a long ways. If you'd have told me in November that those guys were going to lead us to a national championship off the bench or Lane starting, I would have said you're crazy. So the growth of those guys for sticking to it and getting better every day says a lot about the character of them. Well, Coach, I'm sure we'll talk more to you uh, throughout the tournament. And we really do appreciate coming over here and talking with us because uh, there's been a lot of fun on this floor tonight and uh, a lot of good moments. The, I think the best moments is when you see uh, kind of the family atmosphere and the feeling with all the parents and the players and your kids and everything. It, that's what makes it really special. You know, I always say this, that, um, or at least I believe this, is that life's not about what you do, it's about who you do it yeah. with. And to be able to do it with these people is what's special, and we'll remember this for the rest of our lives. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on the first ever national championship for men's basketball or any men's sport at Indiana Wesleyan, and you guys really did in style this week. Thank you, Roger. Appreciate it.